my thoughts on the purpose of university. My name is Marco C, a final year nutritional science student studying in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Number one, GPA isn't really that important. When I had my GPA at 3.3 at my second year, I was thinking maybe I could use a high GPA in order to study in a master's degree of dietetics when I graduate from my undergraduate degree. I plan to study in the UK to become a registered dietitian. But right now, after I started my own business as an online coach, and personal trainer, I don't really have the urge of studying in a formal education academy. I don't really like the way of how I'm studying under a certain curriculum. Like I'm forced to follow a certain step, watch lecture materials and not have the first hand experience on how I could consult different people. Then I realized the thing that is truly important to me is to find out my social network. Since the age of 16, I found that my personality doesn't suit my local Hong Kong culture. Like I couldn't get around with my local Hong Kong friends easily but when I come out to international students such as my best friend from Mexico I have the mind that I love the foreign culture two years ago in July I met my best friend that is Adrian he is from Mexico two years ago I was having my lunchbox in Wu Ho Man Yun building after my coaching session he came up to me and said oh are you the dude in the gym I saw you passing by and then we got along well and then I asked oh where you come from he said Mexico and then I said oh hablas español he said, si, 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 si. And then, uh, tal vez podemos practicar español algunas veces. And then he said, ah, por supuesto. After I learned Spanish, and then I found the worthy companion for me to practice Spanish, we literally became friends. And he also did photography, just like what I'm doing now. And I asked him, like, I had a project about shooting tutorial videos in a local gym in Chunwan. Is he interested? He said, yes. Then we started filming projects in the gym in Chunwan. And he did that totally for free for me. He shot videos and he shoot photos for me to build up my Instagram profile and he is the person who get my business to another level so Adrián si estás viendo este video estoy muy agradecido Agradecido a ti. Muchas gracias por soportarme. I was at maybe three or four hundred followers at that time. I got a new spike of followers after like three months into like eight hundred. Now I gained two thousand and something within half a year. So he is definitely the one that get me to this level. Another time, I had the idea of holding workshop for free in our university gym. Then I told him like I actually had the, this idea and I don't know whether I should. Actually Actually do it maybe I might lose respect I might lose money I won't gain anything in return he's the person who said like nobody give a shit you just do what you want to do and no one will care about that if you want to do so do that and expect nothing in return I trust in you he is the person who provoked me to hold my first ever free workshop in CUHK and meet new friends in my university so another thanks to him right now he is the person who is from a foreign country that literally understand every aspect of me and I am so glad to have met him and I asked him as well like how he decided to approach me he said he decided to come up to me after stumbling across me several times and I was so glad that he did since I'm an extreme introvert who barely approach people other than meeting my best friends I also met my first batch of clients for personal training when I was in year two one day I was seeing people who are deadlifting with a suboptimal form then I corrected them and then I saw a flock of gym goers uh, looking at the direction of mine and then say if you guys are interested come and I'll teach you guys and then the whole gym flocked up to me and then watch me do deadlifts in front of them after that my English class classmate come up to me and say hey Marco could we train together I said I'm sorry I don't really have the time to afford to teach her I've already coached others who claim that they are wanting to train with me but I was in turn coaching them for free the whole time I am not going to do so he said then I can pay you I was like but I don't have any uh, certification he said, no worries on that. I could trust in you based on the performance that you just did in front of others. Then I started charging him for 120 Hong Kong dollars for an hour and a half. That will be 15 US dollars for an hour and a half of personal training. He became my first ever client. From there, I built my client's base uh, by approaching strangers in the gym. I saw some girls doing squats or pull-ups. And then I said, I actually started my personal training business. I just attempt to coach people, but I don't have any certification if you're interested DM me on WhatsApp and they did so I have another two clients then one client who is a 
master's degree student studying law. She referred me to several of her colleagues. One is a lawyer and the lawyer referred me to his friend's parents who are doctors and also housewives. And I also have another client who was just two years older than me. She was studying environmental science in year four called Venus. If Venus, Alice, Tiffany, Jonathan and Benny, if you guys are watching this, I am so thankful to have you in my university life. And I also met other gym goers in the gym from Sri Lanka, India, Korea, Japan, Sweden, Denmark. They are so much more friendly than local Hong Kong people and I could feel the atmosphere being so loosened up. If I am hitting up a random local Hong Kong gym goers in the gym saying like dude you look rough, they will say like yeah this dude looks sus but if I'm lifting some lifts the international bros would just come up to me and say let's go like wait baby. <laughs> So I'm so glad to meet them. Other than talking to international gym bros, my best friend from Mexico and my first batch of personal training clients, I also got the opportunity to meet girls around the campus. Back when I was in high school, I had the insecurity about my height. I am 162 centimeters tall and I think that with my bone structure of being super narrow and my height being super short. Hey, this is my roommate called Go. I was super insecure about talking to random strangers, especially females. I've taken tens or even hundreds of L's when I attempted to approach them by simply dragging up a high. But then as I get more and more L's and attempts, I was having that mindset of not being afraid to fail. Failure is a part of the progress. As long as you can take that into account, nothing would ever matter. I once had an experience where I went out at night and then I saw a girl sitting right there. When I saw her leaving, I said, hey, my name's Marco. So I I saw you sitting down there for at least 15 minutes doing nothing and reading on your phone. Are you okay right now? She said, oh, what are you doing? I said, oh, so one of my clients who is a female, she has some mental issues right now that I want to dig into the female's world of emotional aspects like how I could solve that problem. If I could get along with females more comfortably, maybe I could further develop my personal training business and also develop a higher level of well-being. Then she was actually on her urge of crying. I was literally shocked like what the fuck was happening. I said, are you really okay? She said, uh, yeah. Then she literally started bursting crying. I took with tissue and said so you will not be seeing me anymore after this night maybe you could tell me what happened then we sat down and she talked about her experience of uh basically she fell in love with a boy who was third wheeling then i said actually i don't have anything to say maybe i could just talk about my experience on confessing then she laughed a lot and then at last i took the l of not getting her contact when i requested but that's a mind-boggling experience that i could remember for life so the first purpose of studying in university is to build a strong social network. Before moving on, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Second point is to find the true meaning of life or to find who you really are. I found a random quote on the internet saying the purpose of living is to find the purpose of life and I resonate with it so much. I found that my purpose of life is to find happiness and my way of finding happiness is to reveal who I truly am. Since the age of 17, I'm addicted to this body called strength training. I want to review what my strength, what my muscle mass ceiling will be. I want to build a full statue of myself. I've been watching anime since the age of 19 and I found the common point of the anime that intrigues me to keep watching them is that the characters keep on improving themselves to become a stronger versions of themselves. Goku and Naruto keep on improving themselves regardless of any other's opinion. Their journey of becoming a better version of themselves showing us what they are truly capable of is what intriguing to me and I want to be like them and reveal my true capability. That's why I won't be taking any performance enhancing drugs. I want to reveal my true limits. By taking drugs or even steroids, my potential of growing more mass and more strength might be higher but that's at the expense of my health. I might be chasing some goals that are never achievable. The ceiling just keeps getting higher and higher at the expense of my own lifespan. So I will stay natural at this point. And of course I'm not against any 
anybody who use performance enhancing drugs as long as they are being completely honest and transparent about that. My aspiration is to become a natural bodybuilder and to help people achieve the best versions of themselves physically and mentally. That's why I became an online coach and personal trainer. If you're interested, check out my Instagram portfolio and DM me on the Instagram. Now, looking back, my darkest period was 2020 to 2021 during COVID period and social movements. I was super depressed and in some cases, I was having suicidal thoughts. Without those dark periods, without COVID, without social movement, without Zoom class, I won't be able to get to where I am now as an online trainer or personal trainer who has a considerable amount of income, who has a clear vision of what I would become to realize that I have a limited amount of time in my life journey that I have to drive myself to achieve my goals before I die. Otherwise, I will be stagnant on my life journey. These are all essential progress in my whole life. So I'm truly grateful for what I've experienced throughout these few years in college and I don't regret a single bit of what I experienced. So the takeaway for freshmen or for high school graduates who plan to study in university, my advice to you is GPA doesn't really matter that much unless you want to be a doctor, lawyer, engineer, registered dietitian, any kind of certified professionals. But if you are other people, maybe focus less on grades and more on building a strong social network. Secondly, please find your passion and don't waste your time on caring about others' opinion or caring about social norms, caring about what others expect you to do. What they mostly think about is not about you. They think about what you think about them, but in reality, no one really cares about you, even your parents. So do what you really want to do. Disregard their expectation on you. Find what you are truly capable of. That's through refueling what's truly in your heart. Chase your freaking dream, everyone. That's the end of today's video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe and hit the notification button. Peace out. Step out of their comfort zone and do something that they've never done before. Just take every opportunity that you can to like do things. Forget about your shyness. Just go and be like, hey, <laughs> let's go, buddy.